Hi, Ken back again with another Fox Mail Repair. Uh, this time I have prepared a Creative 1473 CD machine. Now, there was really nothing wrong with the circuit board on this machine. Uh, main problems were the hand wheel. It would not unlock uh, from the main shaft, so when the person went to wound the bobbin, um, she couldn't wind the bobbin without the needle going up and down. Okay, uh, this is Karen B's machine. So, uh, and uh, the other thing was her presser bar would not go up and down. Um, what she was told, she took it to a local dealer and basically they didn't want to work on it because they said the plastic is brittle and it would probably break if they worked on it, so they didn't really want to work on it. Uh, the real thing is, is the, the little trim is what actually gets brittle and breaks. Uh, I've never seen a hand wheel actually get brittle and break. There might be, I mean, but um, I've had a customer who actually took a hammer and hit the hand wheel and, th and that broke it uh, after I had repaired the machine, but uh, that was a different circumstance. Um, and anyway, uh, that was a long time ago, but uh, the hand wheels are pretty much, they're, they're tricky to get back together because there's a spring in there. And a lot of people, a lot of techs don't like to take them off because of that. Uh, but uh, these trim pieces on top, I know uh, from the past, uh, and it's not the tech's fault, okay? When you take the thing off, you have to push some of uh, the clip up here to get the lid off and stuff. And then when you take this out, it might catch on the on the piece, and it might break, you know. And there's nothing that you can really do about it. Uh, you can be careful as much as you try, but you'll always end up on on one machine or another. You'll probably always end up maybe cracking this or chipping it or something like that. This is not going to cause any, you know, problem with the machine. It's just that it doesn't look nice, okay, when that gets um, broken. Uh, anyway, I did, uh, the other thing that Karen had a problem with was buttonholes, okay? Um, now, when I sew on the machine, I do sew a lot of different, uh, stitches, and I check a lot of different things, okay? Uh, these are a bunch of the, the sew-offs that I do, uh, to adjust the machine. Here you can see the stitches are out. Okay, and that was when I was adjusting for the tensions and stuff. I actually started in the second row and then went over. And by the time I got back, I only had, I had this little space here, so this is the last row actually. And I got the tensions in on it. Um, I kept on going on it to to make sure that everything was okay. Now the buttonhole I found on the 1171 and also on this machine. For some reason, the machine will tell you you can use the O foot, which is the basic zigzag foot. Uh, you are better off using the buttonhole foot, which is this guy. Okay, this is the buttonhole foot, and the reason being that you want to use that is because when you have the fabric underneath the straight, the uh, regular foot, it'll have a tendency to move back and forth or you know, whichever direction, it's usually back and forth, uh, and you'll get angles, and you'll get things that won't look right. I mean, this is basically what happens. It, it angles the buttonhole, and it won't work right. Uh, other times, you'll go and um, basically you'll get the patterns where they'll run on, Okay, when when you do it with the buttonhole foot and you do it right, uh, you have to have it all the way back up and then let it go down and then come back. It will go and it will make you a decent buttonhole, which is what I started getting on these guys after I checked out all the different ones. So she's, I sewed off three different buttonholes for her and uh, the rest of the patterns and they came out very well. Okay. Uh, the machine is now adjusted, and I'm going to show her how the machine sews off. 
so we'll put that back up there. I did an earlier take of this video, but I actually ran out of space um, for the video, so I'm doing a second take. That's why this, you'll see uh, the three lines on here and two lines on here. Um, but I'll sew off the five layers of denim, okay? Okay, now the machine does have full speeds, so um, there's the, the stitch that I just did. Uh, these guys are reverse stitching, which I'll show you on this guy since there's not a lot, a lot of room left on that. Um, to do the reverse stitch, you're just going to press the button and it'll go back momentarily. So if you run and then push and hold and then release, it'll go backwards and then forwards and you'll get a reverse stitch. Okay, so that's the reverse stitch on that. So the, and the machine does run in all different speeds. Uh, Karen also, one of the other problems was this foot pedal. Okay. This foot pedal, uh, there's actually a coil winder in here, and uh, you can get it with the coil winder or without the coil winder, uh, but you'll get the regular same stereo jack plug, okay? Uh, these these pedals, a lot of times the, the wires will break right here at the plug. Um, yes, you can go down and and get a stereo jack plug it won't have the right angle unless you can find one with the right angle and then let me know um but uh, you can replace these plugs okay it's a regular stereo jack okay uh the other thing is inside this pedal there's just a little um it's like a plate it's a uh, slide potentiometer and it's just a little tiny plate uh, This is the little plate, okay, has a contact, you can see that it has solder on it. This is the one I took out of her machine. Um, it gets worn out, okay, uh, all it is, it is like paper that's been pressed together with uh, phenolic resin and then it has a carbon resistor type uh, put onto it, spray painted onto it, it's actually um, what we call silk screened onto it, and uh, the other little spot down here is actually a silver ink type of material. Uh, so that's what makes up the potentiometer. These parts I can get, okay. So you don't have to go out and buy a new pedal when it wears out, because I can repair them. I can repair these pedals with this board. I can get these boards, okay. So just a note on that. So. Um, to show the speeds, now, uh, this is slow, and then you go faster and faster, and that's high speed on it. That's the fastest speed that I can go on the machine, okay, and then you get the correct stitch. So, this machine is all fixed and ready to go, and I'll be shipping it back to her, uh, soon, okay. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.